Today I'll be reviewing for you guys this Gata tire pressure monitoring system. Here, looking at the box, you can see that this is designed for caravans, RVs, trucks, and trailers. Uh, you have alerts for puncture, low pressure, high pressure, overheating, and fast leakage, all through a little monitor screen. And then you can see this is the GT1071 model. And we have sensor is 12. And some more information, manufacturing information. And you can get them in two different models. You have the one model and the two model. Uh, and then what all is inside the box. And some more information here. So you have real time display of tire pressure, temperature, cap sensor, easy installation, anti theft and water resistance sensor three to four years of sensor battery life, which I think is amazing. Then you have tire pressure reading, uh, zero to 188 PSI, uh, data while parking, large size LCD screen, um, as you saw from the image right here. And then we have um, long receiving distance uh, for like your longer trucks, RVs, and then um, tractor trailer data if you want to hide them or unhide them maximum 24 tires including uh, two spare tires so let's go ahead and get this unboxed and then see what all we have inside what you have to do is just slide this out and once you slide it out the first thing we have here is a quick installation guide that you can go through um, run walk, you know tells you the icons uh, your temperature PSI tire pressure and all of that all the buttons and all the functions basically then you have your user guide right over here with all the information that you need how to get everything connected and then here we have a quick sensor installation guide as to how you install them onto your wheels. And then here on the inside, you do a slide this off. You can see we have our Gata screen. This is our antenna. We have a little um, latch that uh, you can hang from the window. You have some screws. You have your um, charging port right here. You have your on and off button. And then it does have the light on it that comes up. Then you have your code set, plus, minus, all those buttons. Then here we have the installation kit. So you have your USB uh, power port that can go from your uh, USB port from your uh, car RV or you can have this connected to a car charger. Then they send you a little wrench and some hex nuts with some rubbers to get them all installed nice and tight. And then here you have the window mount suction cup. And this thing just slides right on this. Let me show you. And then you can also loosen it, move it up or down, whatever you need to do. And then here you can see that uh, we have like a, not really like a transponder, but it's like it extends your signal. So this one you want to have it basically attached to the back of your truck so the sensors that are all the way in the back of your truck might not get uh, might not you know send signals to this screen right here so it might not be able to read the tire pressure accurately so they do provide this thing right here in order for you to attach it um, and then once you attach it then this can actually expand the signal from the sensors and send it to your uh, monitoring system right here. So this is a must have for 
the big tractor trailers or the big RVs uh, where you have you know this up front and all the sensors are really far away uh, from the driver so this is nice to have and handy then we have all these sensors we have six of them right over here and these are not really marked like left right driver side you have to actually get them coded uh, to your screen and then once you have them coded and you actually install them it will go ahead and send send the signals directly uh, to your monitoring system then here's another thing that i have to open so here's more sensors so here's another six so all together you get 12 of these and um, all of this is for your big you know big trucks rvs and trailers and here's another installation bracket that they give you with some screws and you have a little sticker um, that you can put on so you have these little stickers right here and you can put them onto your sensor on top so you can just tell which one is what now that we have all the things unboxed let's go ahead and get the sensors connected to our tire pressure monitoring system go over some of the functions and features get them installed and show you guys how all of this work so what you want to do once you have this turned on press and hold the code button until you hear the beep and then you will see the tire icon flashing so you can move it by pressing plus or minus so let's say i want to get this one um, connected with this sensor so what i do is since this is flashing i will go ahead and click the code button and then you will see a red led light flashing on the side and once it's connected then it will go ahead and give you a beep that it's connected you can see the light flashing now and keep it close to the code button So you can see that now it actually got connected to this one so i'll put this one to the side go ahead and press my plus button to go to the next one and i'm gonna go ahead and press this code button again and now it's connected so as soon as you plug these four sensors into your tire they should automatically start sensing what the psi is so whenever you are trying to, let's say, inflate your tire, you would have to follow the same process as getting the sensors connected. So if you go ahead and look at this, if I keep pressing on the code button, then it will go to FF. So let's say you see that tire blinking and then you press the code button again and go ahead and uh, start inflating it. So that way it will beep and then sense that, okay, this is the tire that you're working on now these tire sensors that you have one sensor could only be programmed to one tire icon if a sensor is programmed twice or more times on different tires the monitor will memorize the latest one uh, the latest tire location that you have set so you know press the plus and uh, minus button at the same time to stop programming and return to standby mode without storing the settings. And if you need to delete single sensor ID code for all sensors ID, please refer to the instructions um, you know, manual. To set your system parameters, go ahead and press and hold the set button for three seconds until you hear the beep. And then you will see it's blinking so we have psi so if you do plus or minus you can do psi or bar and if you press it again then you have fahrenheit so you could do celsius or fahrenheit then i press this again then it will go to your high temperature of 194 
and then your PSI, the 131, you can go up and down here. And you set this up for every single tire that you have. As well as your spare tire. And that's it. That's how you program it. So after you remove the nozzle cover, go ahead and screw in the hex nut. Then right over the hex nut, go ahead and screw in your sensor. Make sure it's nice and tight. Once you have installed all the sensors, you can see the monitor going and scanning through every single tire to show you what the PSI of each tire is and also what the temperature of each tire is. Now this is very easy to install. Just follow the instructions and you should be good to go. This is also wireless and I love the fact that it has a big screen. So if you have an older vehicle, this product is a must have. So hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you for watching my review. See you guys next time.